Hi everybody, my name is David and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to apply color correction in DaVinci Resolve to only one track in your timeline. Let's go! Alright, here we are in DaVinci Resolve. This is my first tutorial, so if you like tutorials about DaVinci Resolve, make sure to subscribe to the channel to never miss a new one. So let's jump into this one. Here I have my timeline in DaVinci Resolve and as you can see on my first track, video 1, I have all my A-roll of me talking. This is my video about uh, um, switching to DaVinci Resolve. If you didn't see it, uh, I link in the description and up here or here. Then on the track number 2, I have all my B-rolls, shots of uh, Hong Kong, shots of uh, other stuff, uh, videos uh, and uh, uh, text, all a different bunch of stuff uh, to make the video more interesting. So here the thing, if you want to apply color correction just to the video one track, so my A-roll, can be a little bit tricky in DaVinci Resolve because uh, if, you, if you jump to the color page, you will see here that we have uh, some shot of me talking, so my A-roll, and then there are other sequence, other clips, other images that goes in the middle of all these clips. So if I had to apply color correction to just my A-roll and I want to do it once for all, it can become a little bit trickier. And now I'm gonna show you how you can fix this, this thing really, really fast and really, really efficiently. Let's say that uh, you applied your color correction to your first clip. This is my first clip for the entire video. So I applied a couple of LUTs, I applied a mask and uh, some uh, um, curves to make the image more interesting. So this is the color correction and this is without color correction. So really simple things. And I want to apply this color correction to all my A-roll clips. If I were doing this uh, without uh, the technique I'm gonna show you, you would do uh, simply pressing command, then select one clip, then another one, then another one, making sure that uh, you don't select uh, the B-roll from your uh, clips. And this process can take a long time because you have to go around, uh, then uh, jump uh, from A-roll, then avoid B-roll, go into other A-roll, and so on and so on. So, so this process can become really frustrating. Here, how to do it fast. First thing first, you want to press timeline right near clips up here in the window. And your timeline will appear right below the clips. So as you can see here, I have all my clips laid down as they are here on my principal timeline. And at this point, the things become really, really simple. As you can see here on the left, I have V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, etc. until V11. These are all my layers where videos or text or B-rolls or images are applied into my timeline. In order to deactivate them, it's really simple. Just click to all the layers that you want to remove. And as you can see, as soon as I click, for example, V2, all the clips from V2 will disappear. As you can imagine, if I deactivate all of them, I will just have in my clips only the clips from my first layer. And now things become really, really simple because you just press Command A to select all the clips, then press Command again and deselect the first one. So now all the clips in your timeline from layer 1 are selected. So at this point just right click on your first clip and apply grade. And now all the clips in your first layer will have the same color correction of the first clip of your timeline. As you can see it's really really simple. Just uh, switch off all the layers that you don't want to color correct and you will see only the clips from that layer. So that's it guys, this was for today's tutorial, I hope you found this uh, useful, if you like this video please give it a like and see you to the next one.